I mean, that's pretty, oh, whoa, that was a good bike. Oh, oh, Billy, he's on, he's on. That's Larry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, look at that. That's a giant. Larry, Crick, and Hoggins. Look at the size of that flat Oh my gosh. Bam. Yeah, baby. <laughs> awesome, man. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. Pump the Larry Hawkins crew, baby. It's been a journey. We are like almost two miles of trekking. We're ready. We've been scouting out the Missouri all day. We have been scouting out the Mississippi. Now we are at the mouth of the Mississippi and the Missouri on the confluence. We have been trekking for miles and miles. But we're exploring today, that's the name of the game. I'm trying to find new areas, trying to find where these fish are moving. The good news is we've been told that the migration of seagulls come down here to feed on bait. And look what we found. There they go. are. There they go. Listen to that. It's a lot of birds. They're here for a reason. They follow the bait. They just moved right on down. Didn't so phase them. They're like, get out of here, man. Look at that. That's awesome. That's what we come out here for. Look, we got fog rolling off the river. We got rain moving rain in. Rain moving in. We got our full rain gear today. Yeah, we're going to get wet today, but it screams hog today. Yep, it's a good day for it. Minor yep. bite starts at 11 a.m. So we're going to keep trucking. We're going to go further back into the mouth of the Missouri and see what happens. That's right. Stay Billy's with got, us. Billy's president's calling. That's right. President Trump. Very important person. <laughs> oh, it's got stamp on it. <laughs> probably a... Danny? It's probably a... Uh, Telemarketer. Scam likely. Scam likely. Oh, scam likely. Look at this. This is what happens when you get trapped out here on the river. Look at this. Yeah. This is a casualty of the river right here. Old Indians used to make uh, hooks out of these back in the day. That's fresh. Oh, that is fresh. He's pretty. Wasn't, Somebody grabbed him up, man. It wasn't dry. It might have been from an eagle. Crazy stuff out here on the river. Spending as much time as we do. Yeah. We're going to go over a little gear today. <laughs> today we got the 10 footers out. Yeah. 80 pound mono, 80 pound leader lines, high low rigs. Um, I got a big bait double hook rig on today with an XL Demon Dragon, the Brute Series. The Nocturnal Nation fishing color, the old natural. Oh, look at that guy. Listen to that rattle. Billy's got some high low rigs on. We got some. The old hog collar. We got the hog collars on. And uh, look at these, some of these big shads we got right here. Caught those of a secret location. And. Uh, we got some fresh bags underneath. Man, we've been putting in the work today. Yeah, I'm sweating. Soaking Bad. sweat. Good news is, is the temps are in the 50s today, upper 50s, almost 60. Yeah. Which is a gorgeous day to be out on the river. We're in the St. Louis metro area. If people don't know where we're at, they watch the channel. Yeah. Right by the mouth of Missouri and the mouth of the Mississippi, or the mouth of the Missouri, the confluence. Yeah. That's the spot. We are lucky to be blessed by living by some of the best catfishing in the United States. Hands down. Without a doubt. All the hogs get caught down here. Yeah. We're going to go check this spot out up here, Billy. Show them what we got. Yeah, we're going to hit this. Wing dike runs out here. This is right at the mouth of the Mississippi and the Missouri. This should be a dynamite spot with rain moving in. He's Big cats are gonna tuck in behind these wing dams, seek some shelter, hunker down for the storm. But uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna put some baits right in front of their face. We're gonna see if we can find them. Yep. Gotta move around a lot when you're bank fishing. It's tough work, but you gotta be able to find them. Hey, look at there, light bulb. <laughs> right idea. 
Bright idea. That's a good sign, man. Tells us we're on the right path. Right path. You guys got a bright idea. Yeah. Got a little yellow chest sitting up here on the bank. Yeah. It's like somebody made some furniture. Yeah. Just left it. <laughs> yeah. Floated it up and just sitting straight up right on a the little bank. Little bait cutting station. I know, right? It's almost like a perfect bait cutting station right there. We're going to walk through this quicksand here. Do not do this because you yeah, never know. Definitely be careful out here on the river when you're out here. The river is very dangerous. Yeah. I've been impaled in the chest by a log. Billy's fell down, almost broke his hand, smashed his knee. Yeah, rip rap is very unforgiving. I fell off of a, a little mini cliff and slipped and destroyed my elbow once. It's been tough. Yeah. It's been tough. It is not easy. The bank fishing life is hard. I'm telling you, these guys in the boats, you got it pretty easy. A little easier. Way easier. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys in the boats got a thousand times easier. What are you talking We've about? We've been walking probably two plus miles already and we haven't even got a pole in the water yet. Hopefully we can cross here. Oh man. We keep running into these hiccups right here. We might have to throw some rocks in here. That's another thing you gotta pay attention to if that river's on the right. You don't want to get trapped. We could probably we got to think about coming back though. We'll just, yeah, we'll make a little bridge right there. That'll work. Yep. That's what it takes. Woo. That's what it takes out here. Hope you all enjoyed that time lapse. <laughs> We're sweating our butts off right now, man. Woo! But now we have access to the motherland. That's right. We gotta get out there. We gotta get out there. <laughs> Film it. Made it. Made it. To the homeland. Look at this. As you can tell, there's no footprints out here. People don't come out here. Nope. Except 9,000 seagulls. And the boats. Look the that. absolute most perfect bank for takedown rod holders. Have not picked up a takedown rod holder yet. You guys need to get you some. Go and check him out on uh, takedownrodholders.com. You can find him on Facebook. We'll leave a link in the description of our promo code. And you get 10 percent off unlimited, unlimited orders unlimited. and these things look how easy these things go on the ground too man that's perfect and i'm telling you that, that your rod's not going nowhere guarantee it i left my takedown rod holders at the house today unfortunately i forgot to grab them they were in the back of my other vehicle and i'm really sad yeah so i usually keep them in the vehicle at all times but unfortunately we're not in my vehicle today we're in a different vehicle so yeah they even make surf rod holders that are taller for out at the beach they make the lights that are smaller versions but definitely go to takedownrodholders.com check out everything he's got he's got all kinds of stuff for securing your rods on the bank there she is the double hook rig right there the old classic that's what you do and what you use to catch big fish when you use big baits i'll demonstrate what kind of bait i'm using in a second this is what you call a big bait. Look at that right there. That is a big hunk of chunk of shad. Hunk of chunk of shad. Hunk of chunk of burning shad. <laughs> That's right. This is what you want to do with the shad. That's how you want to fillet these baits when you put them on big. I'll show you why. That's how you want to prepare it, right there. A double hook rig for the big dog cats. For the big dog cats, Billy. The -na 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 yeah! It's game time. It's game time. We're, We're taking back. one hook off. 
We're going with the low rig and I'm gonna launch it as hard as I can. I'm gonna keep this bluegill head on, take that body chunk off. Nice. Good news, good way, good thing about tying these hooks like that, you can take them right off. That's right. Look at that. Be got a little technique. Drop my bluegill head. There we go. Little slipperoo. Boop. Boom. Down to one hook. One hook rig. The low rig. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that bright light in the sky over there. What is that? UFO. <laughs> man, we've been out here. We've been out here. As you can tell from some of the footage on Billy's camera earlier, we've been grinding. You we've get been... lonely in the desert. <laughs> it gets you get crazy if you don't. Is that me? That was me, bro. I think that was you, bro. That was me. I had a bite. Oh, they definitely just had a bite. That was the old tap, tap, tap -a root. All right. We're getting out of here. So we've been getting rained on. Not super heavy, but some light rain. And we're just not getting bit, man. We're not getting bit. We've worked our butt offs. Worked our butts off. We got a bunch of birds up here on the water dive bombing. We're trying, oh man, look at them. They're dive bombing bait. We gotta go see if this is a big giant school of shad over here. If it is, we gotta get on these baits. Looks like our little, our little uh, river system held up. A little rock dike we built is holding strong. Nice and easy crossing now. You're not soaked. Whoa! That is so freaking cool, dude. There's probably 100 pound blue cats out there eating those things. There's thousands of birds here. This is definitely a sign. It's a Just a cross. Oh man. Stand Look at up. this. Stand that thing up. <clears throat> Gotta push down on it. <laughs> Go for it, Billy. Try to hold on to the top. Go for it. Okay. It ain't going. Just bury it. There it is. There it is, people. Yes, sir. Boom. That's right. Somebody's probably going to think somebody's buried out here. I know, right? What are you doing? I'm burying you. I'm alive, man. I'm alive. <laughs> They're like, who'd you bury out? These guys buried somebody out there. Put a cross up. We saw them. Well, it's raining hard. It's starting to rain hard. Caught up to us. It caught up to us. Rain caught up to us. Yeah. It's raining good. We're gonna grind it out. Hopefully it'll turn these this bite on. Hopefully it'll turn these cats on or otherwise we're gonna we're gonna never go fish again. We're selling all of our catfish again. Yeah. They heard that. I know they heard it. Well Big Mo down there is like, you ain't selling all your catfishing gear. That's right. I'm gonna have to buy. It. Well we tried. We tried. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Day number two on a secret location out on the Mississippi River. <laughs> Freezing out today, but uh, we're gonna get back after it. We came out yesterday, as you guys saw. We didn't explored. catch anything. Yeah, we pretty much just explored. But, yeah, we uh, didn't fish that much. We fished like an hour and 30 minutes tops. Yeah. That's not that long. That was it. We're gonna hit it for a couple hours today, see if we can't pull a giant out. The temps are supposed to drop down into the teens coming up this week, so this is probably one of the last good days we're gonna have to get out and fish. So we're gonna get after it, man. But stay that, with us and welcome to the hunt. That's right. It's cold out here, man. It's cold. It is cold, but we got some fresh good bait. We got some freshy baits, some fresh shads. We got the slime cat rods out. Look at that shot right there. Four slime cat rods. It's looking gorgeous. Got a little honey hole. Hopefully we can uh, 
we can make it happen but i'm gonna hop off of here and put this camera on my head real quick because uh it's windy and uh, we're gonna build an a-frame wind block structure real quick that way we can get out of the wind because it's cold it sucks standing in the wind when it's like 30 degrees out it's brutal that being said stay with us because we own it That's a quick way to warm up if you're cold. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to overdo it though. The main thing out here in these cold temps to prevent hypothermia is to uh, definitely make sure you do not start to sweat. You don't want to get wet and cold. It'll get cold even quicker. But it's nice moving around, getting some warmth. Still a couple small taps, no big takes. But we are going to continue to build the awesome a-frame windbreaker <laughs> it is a uh, snow flurrying out here by the way Billy just had a bite but it, we, we do have some snow flurries so it's officially snowing Yeah. That looks sick. That looks sick. Check it out. That is an official windbreak if I ever saw one. Oh, you can't feel nothing back here now. This is nice. Need to build a little fire right here. You could take some bricks and form it and build it this way and create a fire so that way the heat reflects this way. Batting down, straight down. <laughs> yeah, all we need is a big log. Yeah. All right, everybody. We are wrapping up for the day. We are frozen. Frozen. It's cold. So Snowing. cold. Snow and flurries. No luck today. Got a couple little bites. Tugs. We think it might be our presentation, so we're gonna switch it up. Go back to the workshop, try and think up something different, and uh, we're gonna come back out for day three and try some different stuff, some different techniques, some try different it on Sunday. Yep, some different rigs, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna we wrap gone. it up. We're we gone. gone, man. See you in the next we one. We gone. Yes. All right. Slime cats. Look at that. Slime Look. cats. Slime cats. <laughs> Breaking out the carbon elites today. It's cold. It's cold. Winter cold. time, blue cat fishing, baby. That's it right. is like 30 degrees out. This is our third day to this spot. We have been grinding it out in this area. We got some good flow. We got a little break in the dike. And we got a good, good backflow on the backside. We got bait. Look at all the seagulls out there. I don't know if you guys can see all those white birds sitting right there. We got a ton of seagulls. We definitely know that there's fish around this area. Yep. We've been told by an anonymous source. And we're just out here. We're going to keep grinding it out. We're going to keep doing what we can. That's right. To chase down these wintertime blue cats, man. It's tough out here yeah. during winter. But... River came up about two feet. Yes, it did. As you can tell, our little lean to is. Our lean to was somewhere down there. No longer. And it's here. gone. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll just have to build another one. But we got <laughs> fire today. So we should be all right. Temps are in the 20s. Yeah, 20s. Upper 20s. So it's really, really cold. But wanted to break out the carbon elites because these things have a softer tip on them. And right now, these cats are just 
barely grabbing onto that bait. So you want that sensitive tip, that way you can see those light bites. We got some modified rigs on today too. Yeah, that's the key. That's why we prefer slime cat rods is the hookup ratio. Is and the a sensitivity. Lot better. The sensitivity, perfect for this time of year, any time of year, but especially this time of year when these big cats are just barely grabbing your bait. Other rods, it's you'll tough. miss those bites. So if you haven't, go check out slime cat rods. We'll leave a link in the description below. Use our promo code, save yourself some money too. Definitely check it out. With that being said, we're out here. We're going to grind it out. We're going to keep at it. We're going to hope we catch a giant today. And uh, other than that, we're about to start a fire and warm up. So stay tuned and thanks for watching The Hunt for Larry Hogan's. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here what we got. We need, we need some small sticks too. We need some grass. That grass is going to help. One little light, it takes off. Yep, big and snow. A couple big dogs. All right, we we're back in the woods. We, uh, man, we've been putting in a lot of work. Super hard work. I mean, a lot. It's tough. It's tough being out here, making these long treks. I ain't joking. Walking down game trails, up on cliff edges. We just climbed up this thing. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, whew, it wasn't fun. It is hard climbing up cliffs. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. You see our little fire over there in the distance? We're moving spots. Sea Ark. We need a boat. We need a boat. We need a boat, Sea Ark. We're smart enough to bring the cart today. It's an 18 footer. Yeah. We need an 18 foot minimum. We'll forever be grateful. 20 foot would be amazing. If you could find it in your heart, Sea Ark, we sure would like a boat. We'll make you millions of dollars in the long run. I promise we're one of the best investments you can make. Very few people fish as hard as us and put as much work in. I mean, we're literally out on the river every day or every other day. I don't think we've went a span of two days in a row without fishing since February. Without, I'm not even joking. Well, Billy had COVID. He had to stop. I got sick. Put me out for a couple days. That's it. Other than that, man, we just go for it. We go for the hogs. Constant grinds, journeys. We're probably pushing 70 plus miles on foot. Ow! Stick just flung up and smoked me in the knuckle. Man, that hurt. My hands are freezing cold. Freezing, freezing cold. I'll tell you what, when you get hit in the hands and your hands are iced, it hurts. Oh man. This could be dino. This could be that dino mite. Little, little raccoons, possums, little possum trail right there. Something digging in the sand. Oh, I like this. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Well, everybody came out here. We tried unsuccessful again, three days in a row. But the good news is tomorrow, we're going to meet our buddy, New York, at a new spot on the Missouri. That's right. Hopefully we have some luck. It's gonna be cloudy, super windy, but he's only gonna be able to come out and hang out for a few hours, but we're gonna see what happens. So stay tuned. That's right, stay with us. 
The next adventure is coming, baby. Yeah. We going. We're headed that way. That way. That way. We're going different we're way. Going we, that we were way. over there. Now we're over here. Now we're going that. We're going that way. <laughs> we're gone. We're gone. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this episode of the Hunter Larry Hoggins. We're doing something different today. We are in Missouri. We are fishing the Missouri River. We've been out here about two minutes. Look at Zach's already caught. Look at this little pretty baby blue right here. This thing is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful and iridescent this fish is. Yeah. Little bitty baby Mar Larry Hoggins. Yeah. This might be Mary. Never yeah. Know. That'd be sick. Put him in an aquarium. Dude. That'd be so cool. You put that fish yeah. in your big aquarium. <laughs> we'll know when the blue cats are out and eat. That'd be awesome. But already got one. Already got one, bro. <laughs> yeah. Guy. Dude, we are pumped. We just got out here. This is supposed to be a dynamite spot this time of year. The big fish like to hang out behind these wing dikes. And uh, the shad kill off is going on. So we've got fresh shad that we brought. And uh, we're going to put it on them today. So, yeah, we're excited. Yeah, the wind's ripping about 20 miles an hour. It makes it kind of tough, but we're tucked away back here. You can see all this wood. We are tucked back away from all that wind. Get a little slow water release on this bad Yeah, boy. put him in there. Check this out. Here we go. Go, buddy, go. Check him out, man. Looks like a little shark. I know, it's so cool. Yeah. What a start. Yeah. What Great a start. start to the day, man. We are pumped. But, uh, oh, we got our boy up top. Yeah, what up? What up? We got our boy up top. There's old New York. I just caught one. New York. Yeah. Already. That's Ray, aka I swear, I one New in York. Like 60 seconds. That's yeah. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when we put out new content. But, uh, yeah, we're excited today. So, stay with us and welcome to the hunt. It's game time. Oh, yeah. That's the log mix. Oh. I ain't going to launch that in the water. Oh, dude, it's so deep right there. It's probably 30 foot at least. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. Now. How did Jack come up with Larry Hodgson, dude? <laughs> oh, man, back in the day, my buddy, my buddy Brian, his name, his uh, dad's name was Larry. Oh, okay. And uh, one day, me and Brian, we had our bikes, and we were like, man, we need to go fishing. He's like, we got to go. So we got all of our gear together. And we loaded up our bikes, and his mom was like, she's like, you boys are going fishing? We're like, yeah. She's like, no, you got to do a whole bunch of chores. And we're like, oh, man. So Brian's like, let's go in the back for a minute and we'll go, we'll sneak out. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, I'm like, all right, whatever, man, let's do it. So we go in the back, we hop on our bikes real quick and his mom can see us from the kitchen. She's going, we could hear her. She, we get on our bikes, we start to go down the driveway. She runs outside, she's going, Larry, Larry, these damn boys are leaving, Larry. <laughs> we're like, bro, pedal. We're just riffing, bro, riffing, right? So we make it to the spot and uh, we go, we hop on my buddy, Anthony's little John boat at the time we're out we're bass fishing and we were talking about it again We were cracking up. We were laughing. I, I'm cat. I cast out and I'm reeling in I'm like dude your mom's just in there going Larry 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 and as soon as I said that I hooked a giant It was like one of the biggest basses I caught in my life at that age. I got it in Brian grabbed it and I was like, oh Larry! And it just stuck. I was like your dad's name's lucky man <laughs> We just it just stuck and then from that point on I just slapped the old Larry Hoggins on it and we just started calling bass Larry Hoggins. Yeah, all y'all videos, I sit there and watch the whole Yeah. Yeah, I really do. Because, I'm gonna be honest, this is how I start watching y'all. I, I always watch videos, videos. So one day I just typed in St. Louis fishing. And yeah. then y'all popped up. It was y'all and this other dude. Yeah, it was another dude. He he caught some, he catch some big Oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, damn, what, I think it's like... fishing? No, nah, I know him too, yeah. but uh, it's another guy. I actually met him. I'm gonna send it to you, but he, uh, he actually do some, he, he catch some nice stuff too. You can tell he just got into catfishing too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, y'all was like the first video I saw. I'm like, damn, let's check them out. Yeah, and then when I saw, I'm like, I'm like, wait, I know some of these spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it was, yeah. And then I was like, and it was crazy when I saw y'all at the uh, catfish tournament. I said, oh man, I know them, dude. I gotta say something. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Cause my girl even said, my girl said, yeah, we just watched them. I said, yeah, we just watched them. Yeah. Cause I got her watching videos. That's cool. All right, so far we have had two bites, caught one fish, got fresh shad out. Fishing in a secret spot, secret location. Yeah, we, we just got, had we we just had some flurries. Well, we got the homeboy with us today, what's the up? catfish killer. What's up? What's up? What's homie up? New York. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we had these guys roll up on us in this boat. Hopefully, they didn't spook our fish off. Yeah, we had a. What, looks like that G3. I've seen that G3 out before. That might be a guide. Might be. I think I'm gonna reel this one in, recast this one. Yeah, I think uh, I think I might do a little fresh bait. A little fresh bait here soon but we got this boat sitting back here and uh, they just pulled up in went right over the tops of our lines but you know what can you do you're fishing from the bank but uh they're posted up back over here in this little tuck they might have grabbed some fish more likely more than likely they're grabbing fish but we're gonna stay after it man we're just gonna yep. keep pounding away gonna keep grinding it out and hopefully we'll catch a big one for y'all stay tuned thanks for watching the hunt for larry hoggins that's right. Like, That's right. The good luck charm. Yeah. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, like New York said. That's yeah. right. You gotta catch him. Oh, 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 there you go. go. Jesus, my camera just died, baby. We're on, baby. Catfish killer's on. There we go. Nice one. Back yeah. turned. Grab my grabbers. Oh, like oh yeah. Get bigger. My grabbers are in that top of the bag. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. That's a decent one. It's all in, Billy. <laughs> There you go. You got the grabber here. Nice. Yes, sir. I told you that's why I'm turning my back on them. <laughs> so hard to get in their gills. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough, dude. Here, you hold the pole. I grab it. Got those gloves. Yeah, buddy. Cool guy. Right. Yeah, we'll take, take, take it. Bigger. Take it. Bigger. Yeah. Yes, sir. Catfish killer, baby. Yeah, we That's here, right. man. We here. Awesome. I had to show these guys how to do it, too. Man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> that was a good bite. I'm going to have yeah. to get the flyers for that. Here we go. Blue number two <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice fish right yeah. there. Yeah, buddy. Right here. Good job, man. Yeah, good thanks, job. Thanks, thanks, That's thanks. what I'm talking about. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. All right, camera died in the middle of the action. Luckily, Billy's camera is rolling. We got that fish on cam. Yep. Nice little eight to 10 pounder in. Nice little fish. Still biting, second one of the day. We're gonna keep grinding it out. And hopefully we get bit. That's right, stay with us, everybody. That's right, it's game time. Look at this spot though, this is money. It's 25 mile an hour winds. Luckily, we built a little windbreak right there, but we got all this wood behind us. It's actually not too bad. The hunt for Big Mo. The hunt right. for Big Mo. We're out here hunting for old Big Mo. Shout out to Eric. Yeah, Big Mo. Chelsea came up with that name. Larry's cousin. Larry's cousin, Big Mo. Thanks again for hey, inviting dude, me. Time, man. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anytime. Yes, sir. Anytime. Make sure you yeah. hit me up. Let me know. Hey, definitely. hey, we'll definitely be hitting you up. We'll get out there Sunday and we'll get after it. Yeah, anytime you want to go, let us know too. All right, I got yeah, you. Man. Like I said, he'll tell you, I'll tell you one yeah. time. I fish nearly every day, yeah. dude. So that, that, to have other people do it. Hey, man. It's I'm, hard to find diehards. It really is, We're bro. Like the dude that was just on the phone, that's the 98 pounder dude. He was. When he was catching them, every day we was going together. Every now day, every day. But as soon as it got a little bit cold, he was like, ah, oh, it's too cold, man.
That's a tank, bro. That's a big fish. Oh man. Tank. Oh man. He's a giant, bro. He's got some weight. He's getting close. Fish grippers? Fish grippers. Oh, it's a fish. It's a good fish, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a blue. Yes! Holy shit. Here. No, no, don't pop off. You can't get your hand on the Don't get your hand on Come on. With one hand, with one hand, Billy's the man. Oh my gosh, tank. Oh. Billy's the man. There we go, he's in. He's in, I'm gonna set the rod down. Good job, bro, save the day, Billy got on him for me. All right, hey, them waterproof boots help. All right, hold up. Tanker, bro. Yeah, get a grip on him. Hold that, I got this. I'm still recording. Tanker, bro. Don't break your fingers. Oh, man. Tanker, bro. Tanker. Yeah. Tanker. Dude, that was the sickest bite. I was like, bro, it's still going slack. Was it? Yeah, he was swimming. I, I thought he let go of it. He didn't. He still had it. And I just kept seeing the line get even more slack and more slack. I cranked down and he, he doubled. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a giant. That's a pig, bro. Woo! Big Mo! <laughs> Big Mo, baby. Yeah. Look at that. Absolute giant. I get a slow water release on this bad boy. It's photo release. There he goes. There he goes, dude. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Here yes. we go, bro. 49 pounder. 49.52. Awesome. Awesome Holy job, moly. man. Made the whole day worthwhile coming out here. Had to pay eight bucks a piece come out and fish today oh, oh man but, uh, that dude, was worth it that was worth it catfish killer aka new york ray brought us AKA the good luck aka brought us the, the luck of many names <laughs> yeah brought us the luck today man so what a fish what the a high fish low rig pays off that's right Bang. Woo. there we go billy saved the day for me yeah. i was going to catch some walleyes out there my rod got slammed billy got him he got it. Good job, man. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. 50 pounder, bro. 50 pounder. 49.5. 49.5. That is a good fish, buddy. That's a real good fish. I'm tired. That was a heavy Dang. fish holding that fish up. Ain't Dang. no joke. <laughs> Ain't no joke. Wish you were here, man. Buddy. Wish you were here, Dang. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. We might have to come back here on Sunday. Yeah. It's going to be. This is where the biggins are. This is the biggins are here. Yeah. The biggins <laughs> got the biggins out here. You boy. might catch numbers. You might not catch numbers or a lot of bites when you get there. It's probably going to be a chance at a big one. That's right. So we're going to keep grinding. I'm going to get some lines back out. So stay tuned because it's game time. So it's, it's been about 20 minutes after we caught that big fish and we're still on the adrenaline high. That's right. Woo! 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 The heavyweight champion of the world, Nature Boy. Woo! Nature Boy Rick Blair. Woo! We're coming right back. Woo! That was crazy. Absolutely crazy. It was awesome. The old brand new 10 foot slime cat rods put it on them. Yes, it did. Man, it, it horsed that fish in. I'll tell you what, 
These rods are dynamite. If you do not have a 10 foot slime cat rod and you're a bank fisherman, you better get one. Yeah. You better get one quick because they are dynamite. The sensitivity of these things is awesome. Super light bite. I was walking down the bank, Billy picked it up. He noticed it was a light tap. Just a little jingle, that's it. 50 pounder, just a little, dink. Slacked up a little bit, Billy's like, oh man, just had a little light bite. Cranked in, cranked in, stopped for a second. I was like, let it rest. Yelled at him from over the bank way over there. He's like, I think it's still slacking it's up. It's still slacking up. He cranked down on him one more time and that rod went, <gasps> well, bam. Pegged it. Pegged it. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yep. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, we got a link in the description as well. Yeah. Go down, check it out. Slime cat rods. Slash the hunt for Larry Hoggins. Hoggins. Yeah. Slime so, cat rods slash the hunt for Larry Hoggins. They've got slime cat rods slash the hunt for Larry Hoggins. Right. We have a coupon code. It is called Hoggins. Use the promo code Hoggins. It will save you money on your next rod purchase. That's right. I recommend you buy a slime cat rod. Buy ten of them. <laughs> buy ten of them because they, they are sick. They're sick. These things are nasty. We are super pumped. I want to say thank you to Ryan and Tim and Jackie. Thank you guys so much. You guys have definitely made this year awesome for us. Yeah. We are more than grateful and uh, we really appreciate everything you've done for us so far. And we're going to get out here and keep grinding it out and keep catching big fish on your rides. That's right. <laughs> Don't forget to check out. They got fishing reels. They got line. They got everything. They got anything you can think of over at Slime Cat. So definitely go give them a check it out and uh, yeah, I'm telling you, they got some good <laughs> shit. They got some good shit, man. <laughs> it all up. <laughs> oh, man. Another day. <laughs> all right, everybody. What an awesome day. What an awesome day. We caught three fish today. Buddy New York came out today and got on one as well. Shout out to New York. Thanks yeah. for coming out. Thanks buddy. for coming out, man. Good times. We finally got us another nice fish, 50 pounder. We'll take it. What a fight. Tag teamed up on him. That's right. That's right. We, we could put it on him, didn't we? <laughs> Double teamed him. Yeah. But man, what an awesome day. We just thank you guys for sticking with the video and watching. We just want to say if you haven't commented or liked the video or share it, please do so. It helps us out in the algorithm big time. And we need that stuff. We need all of our friends and family to share the video. That's how we grow. We can't do it without you guys. So we appreciate every one of you that do help us out. Uh, shout out to Bluff City. Shout out to Slime Cats. Shout out to Takedown. Shout out to Jack'em Jigs. All of our sponsors, man. We appreciate every single one of you we guys. Love, love all you guys. I mean, look at the setups, man. I mean, we couldn't have done it without the Takedown rod holders today. That's keeping right. these rods in place. The 10 new 10 footers we got sent from Slime Cats, man. It was freaking awesome. These things are amazing. With that being said, till the next adventure. That's right. Stay with us. We're gone. Coming back. Peace. <laughs>